Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and hello if you're new, my name is Charlotte. I do, well I try and do at least one fashion video a week but I'm going to try and up it to two if I can fit it in around everything so let me know in the comments below or with a thumbs up if you would like to see more videos from me throughout the month but I told you in my last video which was a little bit of a sale fail, it was and other stories, I'll leave a link on the screen down below that I had a colossal Lara haul coming up and that is what I've got for you today. The hair is up because it's going to be hot and sweaty, it's still warm in England. Let's just forget what the face looks like. I've come in from work, I'm determined to get this filmed before I go babysitting. So I have four boxes. I was working from home for a week post-operation um, and I was really bored. <laughs> and it was just me and my little Brody, barely any human interaction throughout the day. So I just found myself scrolling through the Zara sale after I finished my work and yeah spending about £400 but I'm not going to keep it all. Some of them I have ordered in two sizes because personally I never know what size I am in Zara and I'm always slightly confused. Now I have these, I also don't really know what size I am on my top half. Not really sure the best way to go about this. I'll probably try the items on and show you and talk you through them whilst they're on rather than picking them up and then putting them on because it's hot and it might just be the easiest way to do it. But yeah, hopefully you also love a good Zara sale. I cannot resist buying sales but I love Zara anyway so let's hopefully fingers crossed that I got some good steals good wardrobe staples which is what I always look for in sales and let's just get straight into my Zara haul. First up we have a linen jacket I thought like these types of jackets have been really popular for spring summer and I thought it'd be great also for autumn winter you know with quite a few layers on top fitting it like putting it on looking in the mirror looks a little bit boxy and frumpy. I did get a size small um, if I fasten it up here there's still like loads of room in the front of it. It's maybe it's meant to be oversized. It fits on the shoulders. I'm normally a size 10 but I'm not really sure it does anything. I mean I would probably be more likely to try and you know do something with rolling the sleeves up but then I'm not really sure how you know it looks with the black against the linen. I mean maybe that looks a bit better or you could just bunch it up like this a little bit so not too sure I think maybe with like an all black outfit it might be nice but I'll maybe have to experiment with that but from like the get-go I'm sure I'm fit but for £19 in sale the quality of the linen feels really nice we've got pockets that you can actually you know put your hands in I just thought it'd be a really nice layering piece come kind of like summer slash autumn so spoiler alert there's a lot of blazers in this Zara haul because I love the quality of Zara blazers but if you're buying full price they're more on the expensive side normally around £80 but in the sale some of them go down to about £30 which is such a good price for a good quality blazer I think I also tried this in a small this is the medium but it fits on the shoulders double breasted love double breasted blazer um obviously there's a little bit of room on the waist but I do kind of prefer an oversized vibe this feels so soft might have even tried to order the trousers in this as well for like a cheeky suit for autumn winter but I'm absolutely loving this blazer. I will definitely be keeping one of these sizes but I can't remember what I paid for all the items off the top of my head so I will do my best to leave the sale price along with the links if the items are available in the description bar down below. Then I got a white blazer in a size small. It does fit but it's pulling a little bit now I've got a larger bust and looking in the mirror here in front of me I mean it looks okay, it doesn't look great, could have longer sleeves so again I always kind of do this with my blazers anyway so this is what it would look like but I feel it maybe just pulls a little bit too much so I maybe would have been better with the next size up or maybe I'm just not used to having some boots in a blazer, who knows but again I think that was a, a pretty decent price like they say there's no prices on it but none of the blazers really were that much over £30. Can I be trusted in a white blazer? That is again another question but there isn't really thick shoulder pads which is good because I hate kind of don't really like the structured 80s look so it is a comfortable fit nonetheless. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments below about this and obviously any of the other pieces that are going to be in this massive Zara haul. So this is what I mean about sizes always confusing me in Zara. That white blazer was a size small a little bit too tight. This is the medium and I can fit two of me in here. Obviously it does depend on the style of the jacket but there's oversized and there is 
oversized really so unfortunately they didn't have this in a small that's why I tried it in a large it's like a linen I think it's linen but type material Zara basic jacket and I do absolutely adore the stripes on this the fact it's double breasted and we've got pockets as well that are actual pockets if you un do the little stitching that you get in there but unfortunately it's just too big because it looks obviously like it's meant to come here here looks like it's meant to come in here at the waist and it's not which is a bit of a shame although to be honest it does feel a little bit itchy it doesn't feel as good quality as the other blazers so the first grey checked one is definitely so soft a great material and probably a print and pattern i will get more wear out of going into next season which i always bear in mind when buying clothes i know it's like roasting hot at the moment so to even think about autumn winter sounds a little bit crazy but even though i'm getting it in sale I'm might only be spending first pound and I still want to get my wear in it. I don't see the point in spending money on clothes that you're going to wear once or not get your wear out of. I like to get them to fit into my wardrobe and work in a different number of ways. So this jacket is definitely a no. On to another white jacket. This one is size small again. Not double breasted. Well, semi double breasted. We've got two buttons, crosses over. Again, fits but also it's just a little bit pulley around here. And it's a crepe material, great for like the season we're in, maybe not so much for autumn winter. Um, it's a little bit shorter as well, a little bit cropped, quite cute. I like it when it's open, it just it doesn't look right close. But again, I feel like it's a little bit itchy, it could just be the material. And if I was going on another, like, I can't speak, if I was going on another summer holiday in year, I would definitely keep this for the price because I would use it as my jacket when I'm going away, it looks great with the tan. But don't really think I'll get that much wear out of it going into next season and because the fit isn't perfect on me I think this one also is going to be a no but hopefully this kind of shows the big selections of jackets that they've got on sale I realise I've got quite a lot of tops and pants as well so I'll do them all in order of types of products and I will leave a link in the description bar below the minutes for you know whichever product group so if you're only interested in trousers you can go straight to them or if you're interested in tops etc you can go and swipe across, no we're not on Instagram are we, you can go and fast forward to the bits that you want to see. So this is not a coat you want to be wearing in this heat, I feel even like it's sticking together because of it, but we have like a PVC rain mac, I just thought this was super cute, this is the small to medium, it was originally £80, I think it might have been £30 in the sale, and for me the reason behind this was, well, PVC High Shine is still popular for autumn winter so immediately when I saw this I thought I really want to try that and I would probably mainly wear it for walking braid to be honest um, at work to chuck on when it's raining for like when I go out on my lunch and things like that or because it's quite thin and lightweight I'm sure you could fold it up fit it in a bag and just have it as an extra layer for you know when you're out shopping or running errands when the weather's not too great and yeah for £30 you're not going to get much better quality in a jacket of like whatever you want to call this PDC whatever from like the high street um it has a little bit of a funky not fish smell but just like do you know that sometimes weird fake leather smell it smell it smells a bit funky so I'm gonna have to give it a bit of a spray but I don't know for some reason I actually really like this maybe you'll see me in a lot of PVC rain mats I do also feel like the guy from I know what you did last summer so maybe it's like a what like creeping some people out when I'm walking Brody and it's raining in my little hood. <laughs> Moving now on to tops. First up is this knitted bodysuit. I love the fact that it was a halter neck, so it's like this at the back and I thought I can get away with wearing it now in the hot weather and then it would just be like a nice layering piece just for showing on underneath like a loose open shirt, um, maybe like a nice cardigan and things like that come autumn winter. It's really nice. Knitted material. I always love like wearing high-waisted flare trousers with a top like this on a nice heart as well so definitely keeping this one feels really good quality and the material because it's knitted just looks more expensive than a standard cotton bodysuit it also has a thong back which is why i always look for because i hate having a bpl so that is another thumbs up loving the first top that i've tried everyone went crazy for polka dots last autumn winter and then again summer i think it's still going to be around for next season so i saw this and i thought you know 80s vibes with the massive puff sleeves it's like a wrap top I got a small and it feels pretty feels pretty big for a small um I don't know I feel like it makes me look quite boxy and quite wide I don't know if that's now because I've got more of a fuller bust or it's just because of you know like these big flouncy sleeves 
don't think it is 100% flattering on me so I'm not sure how to keep this because if I don't think I'm going to get much wear out of it I don't really see the point although I do really love you know the massive polka dot print that we've got contrasting against the small polka dot print so it is a really nice top uh, it's £26 before the discount so I can't imagine I paid too much for it but I just don't think that I'm going to get the wear out of it. I love a shirt with something about it so it's probably why I ordered this one. To be honest I'm looking in that box I can't remember some of the items that I did order but it is quite a nice shape. I'm really kind of loving how different it is so it's like off the shoulder here like that and then it comes down in at the waist button down the front I don't feel like it's pulling too much over a bigger bust and then we have these really cool puff sleeves it does feel a little bit tight around this bit here but I have got a size small it was £30 before the sale so I probably picked it up for a really good price and this with just like a pair of jeans and maybe well probably even black trainers for me to be fair I think it's just really nice it's just got something about it it would be nice with a pair of heels and some black skinny jeans or black leather pants if you can find any decent fitting ones so I just need to weigh up whether the fact it's tight around here and a little bit uncomfortable there is worth for the fashion element of this shirt because it is very like expensive high end when it probably only costs about £15 so that is a big thumbs up. Wow I like Zara. Lightweight knitwear is always a great transitional piece and I saw this cute kind of like crop black jumper with this tie detailing here that I just thought was really cute a little bit different so I suppose you could wear it like this just with it undone you could have it as I just had it there with one wrap beneath so it's a little bit kind of like a scarf on the jumper or you could maybe tie it in like a knot or a bow have a little bit of play around with it it feels like really nice fine quality again I got this in a size small and yeah I just think it's a really nice simple piece in your wardrobe it would look pretty nice underneath a couple of the blazers as well just because of this little detail that you've got so there's a, like a few styling opportunities you could do I mean you could maybe even you know wrap it around your bust like that and then tie it at the back but kind of like I don't know give it a bit more shape around your boobs but I suppose you could just have a play with it but it's really comfortable really cute and definitely keeping this. One piece I sadly won't be trying on is this really cute crop top um because my recent surgery I'll leave it linked to know might have got something done in this area and um, it's a little bit obvious uh but I ordered this in a size small and I think it would fit but I can't currently pull things over my head so obviously I don't want to do anything that shouldn't be so I also picked up this cute little top. Will I get my shoes out of it? I don't know so I'll have a little think whether I keep it or not but it's really nice quality, it's really cute and I'm not feeling too confident about my belly at the moment actually because I've not been able to work out for a while so I might not keep that but I just couldn't resist just see what the quality was like anyway. I put the bodysuit back on. I need to uh, put it on and fasten it up properly but I'm going to move on to trousers and skirts so I just thought I would style them up with this so you can kind of see how the trousers fit and things like that if they do so hopefully fingers crossed I'll be showing you everything on and not having to hold it up to the screen because it does not fit me. I can't fit all of me in so you can just see me from the waist down and you might see a little glimpse of Brody's bum somewhere down here on the floor but first up we have this black skirt and super flattering I'm loving this big embellished button. I had a similar type skirt from ASOS which was a white cream one that I took to Mexico and of course I destroyed it so I can't really wear it again and I was thinking about doing it black but then when I've got this look at that amazing slit so we've got an amazing slit there, the contrast stitching which I love and um, another slit here at the front this would just be really nice with a pair of white trainers and like a black top and I'm going to get wear out of it while the leather's still nice so I'm definitely going to keep this it's just super comfortable I got a size small again Oh, bless me. I am like a 37 inch on my hips, 27 on my waist. So I'm normally like a UK 10, so hopefully, if that gives you any idea. And I am 5 foot 9. So I really love this skirt. I will definitely be keeping this one. We have another example of weird sizing. These are a small. Bear in mind, I'm a size 10, and look at them. They are literally like, I could probably pull them off while they're fastened. They are absolutely huge so you can kind of be fitted up here we've got all this extra here so if I'm a 10 and I need an extra small then who are these trousers made for so again the material is soft it feels amazing because it's the trousers that match the blazer that I got but obviously I ain't gonna be wearing these bad boys anytime soon because I'm not going to clown school so these are massive no. Moving on to a couple more skirts and first up we have this tartan one like I love 
tartan for autumn winter. I love that this one's blue. This is a small one, it fits me how it should fit me. And the reason I like this one was because we've got kind of like different hemlines going on, we've got this little frill bit, and let me just grab my shoes. I thought that it would work really well with my Balenciaga boots, which are like a bluey grey. So I thought they'd really complement each other and it's kind of like that, you know, tough mod punk kind of vibe. Schoolgirl, whatever, like tough, chic kind of look. So I thought they'd be really cool together. This is actually really comfortable, so yeah, thumbs up for this skirt. Another skirt I saw and thought would work really well again with Balenciaga boots, probably just because of like the blue and the black together it was this one. Again, we've got like a little bit of a hem going on, it's frilled, it is a small, I feel like it fits me really well again. Look really good with tights as well. This was £30 before the sale, so I wouldn't have paid much for it. Again, a size small, I might have already mentioned that, but yeah, I just thought again, just something I can wear with this and it would be nice with the cropped jumper that I showed you. I'm already planning for the next season, although it's absolutely roasting outside. <laughs> Moving on to some jeans. These are actually a size 8 because I don't think they have a size 10 but they actually fit me. So I mean I've not actually got that many pairs of Zara jeans so again I'm unsure of the size so I thought I would just give them a go anyway. We've got like a little bit of a, what do you want to call it, raw hem going on at the bottom. I know I'd get like a wear out of these summer but they're not really like an autumn winter colour. So although they do fit and they make my bum look a little bit perky to be honest. I don't think they'll go with so much of my wardrobe, so they're not really worth keeping, even though they probably were only about £13, which is why, again, Zara sale prices are really affordable. Again, another pair of size 8s, and they actually fit, so I must have been feeling like I was having a slim day, or they just didn't have my size. At the moment, my ankles are so swollen because of how hot it is, but I actually really like these. They kind of seem a little bit more like chinos rather than denim, although it does say Zara basic denim. Originally 26, so I can imagine I paid 13 pounds for these, so really worth keeping. Again, I feel like they look quite good in the derriere, and I really like the colour actually, because it's just a little bit different. So these would maybe look good paired with my Alexander the Queen trainers here, because we've got like this kind of like chunky sole, so they might look pretty cool together with the crops. But yeah, so I think I'll probably keep these, even if they just end up being like comfy, brody dog walking pants and things like that. They're only 13 pounds, so stupid not to give them a try. I saw these pants and I instantly fell in love with them because of the button, the contrast stitching, the shape and the colour. I got them in size small and they obviously fit a lot better than those check ones that we tried on but again I just feel like, I don't know, they're baggy to like begin with and I tend to find material like this once you've sat and moved around they can go a bit big so I feel like I could even get away maybe with the small I mean extra small, sorry, these are small and like I said I'm like a 10, sometimes an 8. So I don't know, I feel like I maybe won't get the wear, I feel like they should be higher up, they should be tighter, more fitted, they already feel loose but I mean maybe they're meant to sit here, I will check them out on the model and see how they are styled and also how much they cost and kind of decide from there. So I do really like them. Again I just don't know if I look at myself in the mirror and feel good about my figure in them. So maybe it's next. The next pair are called the Mini Flare. I got these in size 10 and it's a good job because I would not have been able to get into the 8. That's what I mean about sizes and why I normally order a couple of different sizes from Zara when ordering online. They feel nice and comfortable. I wanted a new pair of black jeans that fit me better. Um, I don't know if it is just because I'm swelling up because of the heat, I just feel like they don't really do anything for me in the mirror but also I can tell it's that material that just picks up fluff like that I've got a blonde dog, as soon as Brody comes anywhere near me, I get covered in his gorgeous blonde hair, albeit annoying for somebody who loves black outfits, so I don't know, I might hold out and find a more better fitting pair of jeans that I feel more comfortable and confident in, even though these are cheaper, I'd be better to spend a little bit more money and feel good about myself in what I'm wearing. So we're down to the last pair, these again are a size 8 and they feel a little bit snug, but they're like a straight leg, my favourite type of jeans got a raw hem, they're very much like my favourite Topshop straight leg jeans but I'm loving kind of like the dark slash faded colour, semi high waist, they don't fit on the hips but they're kind of not quite high, um, like I said I've not been able to get to the gym for a bit so I've been eating really badly so I'm hoping to lose just a couple of pounds where I feel comfortable so these will like be really comfortable, fit really nicely, they were originally £40, I probably maybe paid about 20 for them, 
um, they've made them look nice with my Balenciaga boots because of the cut of them. But yeah, they've got quite a lot of room and stretch and I can move my knees out, which is always a nice little strange test I like to do. Uh, but yeah, thumbs up for this pair of jeans. So that is the end of my massive Zara haul. It's a little bit hot, it's a little bit sweaty, but I got through it. So out of like around 23 items, I did order some like double sizes. I have kept about 10 of them. So I've got half of my order. You can probably guess which one. So we've got the last jeans, this bodysuit. We've got the other like cropped blue jean trousers, the two blue checked skirts, the long black skirt. We've got the black jumper. We have the PVC jacket, the checked blazer, which I absolutely love. Probably one of my favorite pieces. And then also the linen coat, which is like a maybe. So the jackets and the blazers were a real success, but I love Zara for those pieces. Um, trousers, hit and miss. I mean, what were those sizes about? How can you be an eight in one fits, a 10 that's tight, and then another size small that's absolutely massive. So that's what I recommend with Zara. If you do really like an item and you're ordering online, I would always suggest ordering two sizes so you don't miss out and you're not disappointed. Um, yeah, trousers pretty much fail, tops, hmm. but I've managed basically to keep pieces that I know I can wear now and also incorporate into my autumn winter wardrobe because that's basically what I'm all about, mixing and matching clothes, getting wear out of them, because even if it's in the sale, if I'm only going to wear it once, I just think it is pretty much a waste of money. But I just love a little bit of sale shopping. So if you enjoyed the Zara haul, do give it a little thumbs up. If you've been shopping in the Zara sale yourself, let me know what you've bought, what your favourite pieces are. If you're new, I would love if you subscribed. I'm going to try and do two videos a week as and when I can throughout the summer when it's lighter. Um, you will definitely get a video upload on Thursday and then maybe a bonus one on Sunday if you're lucky. But thanks for watching guys. I will see you all in the next video.